What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be going over how to create a bottom navigation bar in Flutter. So the first thing that I'm going to do is set up a new Flutter project. All right guys, so as you can see, here is my freshly created Flutter project, and on the left here I have my iOS emulator with the default starter code. So the first thing that I'm going to do is get rid of all of this. Okay, so right now I'm going to just create a simple stateless widget for the main.dart file. So I'm simply going to do class my app. This will extend the stateless widget. And then inside of here, we will do our override. And we will create our build widget with widget build. We'll pass in our build context, context just like that. And then here, we will simply return a material app. And then inside here, we can pass in everything we need to. So so I'm going to pass in the title as bottom navigation bar. And then I'm going to say home is equal to uh, text. This will be a text widget with the text home, just like that. And my emulator stopped running, so We'll need to restart that, but before we do that, let me add my main function. So void main and whoops, run app, and we'll pass in my app, just like that. Okay, so let's run this again. Okay, so as you can see, everything is working. We have main.dart, and this is the code we have so far. It is a simple class my app which extends stateless widget we have the build we have the material app being returned and so far all we have is a title and home which is just text home and the reason that this looks like this is because we are not returning any scaffold widget so we just have the material app that's fine for now so what I want to do is follow best practices in this tutorial. So I'm not going to add the navbar to the main.dart file. What I'm going to do is say home and point that to nav. And this nav will be its own file. So let's go in here and create a new folder, or a new file, sorry. We'll call this nav.dart. Now inside of here, we are going to have our nav class, which will be a stateful widget and this will be our bottom navigation bar so what i'm going to do is type in sta oops st and if in vs code it gives me this pop-up here flutter stateful widget so if i hit tab it will create this for me and i'm going to name this nav just like that now i need to be sure to import my material uh, dot dart package so we'll say import package uh, colon flutter slash material dot dart just like that and everything is now working so back in the main dot dart we still have an error here because we need to import this so we'll say import package colon and then our project name so bottom navbar slash nav.dart and now we do not have an error here so what we, what we want to do is we want to return a scaffold widget instead of a container and now we have our nice white background we can give it an app bar so we'll say app bar and we'll just say the title is equal to a text widget, which will be bottom 
nav bar, just like that. And then we can say the body for now will be equal to text and we'll just say home. So that's fine for now. So now if we look at what we have, we have our simple main.dart file which points to our home being this nav class. And the nav class is a class which extends stateful widget. We have our create state here and our nav state class here, which is returning a scaffold, which has our app bar and our body, which at the moment is just a text widget that prints home. Okay, so now we can start looking at how we can add a bottom navigation bar. So first, let's add the widget for that. So what we're going to do is go below body, and we are going to say bottom navigation bar, just like that. And there is a widget for this, bottom navigation bar. And as you can see, it takes in a couple of properties. So the first one is items. So for items, this will be a constant. So const will say bottom navigation bar item, just like that. And this will be a list, so we'll put our brackets just like that. And now inside of here, inside of this list is where we will add all of our items. So we add them as a bottom navigation bar item widget. So bottom navigation bar item, just like that. And then inside of here, we have four different things. So we have icon, active icon, background color, and title. So we really only need two of them, icon. So we'll say icons, oops, icon, and then we'll say icons.home. And then we also need the title. So we will give it a title of home, but that needs to be wrapped in a text widget. Okay, just like that. So we'll format this up. And this is what we have so far. So if we go over here, it's giving us an error. And that's because items.length needs to be greater or equal to two. So we need to have at least two items in our navigation bar, which makes sense. Because if you had zero or one items, why would you need a navigation bar? So right now we just have one item, which is this home. So what I'm going to do is copy this. I'm going to paste it two times. So we'll say one and two. Now, there we go. Now we have three items in our navigation bar. So let me replace this home. We'll say messages and we'll say profile. And then we can replace the icons as well. We'll make you a person. And for the messages, we can make that a message icon. Okay, so now this looks a lot better. We have home, messages, and profile, but it still does not work. So we need to implement the logic behind this navigation bar. So for that, we're going to come back up to the top here. And right in this class nav state extends state nav, this is where we are going to add our logic. So first off, we're going to add an integer. And we're going to call this selected index. And we're going to set that equal to 0. And basically what this is, is the selected index of our navigation bar. So you'll notice, like I said, this is a list. So this is index 0, this is index 1, and this is index 2, corresponding with these. So whichever index is selected, we're going to want to display that corresponding uh, item on the screen, right? So this selected index variable will hold that. We'll default it to zero. And then next, we need a list of options to display on the screen. So we can say list. They will be of type widget. We can name it widget options. This will be equal to a widget list, just like that. And inside of here, we pass in the corresponding 
uh, page for each of these. So when home is selected, the first index here, index 0, will be displayed when home is selected. So for that, we'll say text home. Oops. Home. And then we can do the same for messages and profile. So we'll just change this, messages and profile. So basically, eventually when you hit home, we'll display text home. When you hit messages, we'll display text messages. And when you hit profile, we will display text profile. Okay, so that's the first step. Now we need to add a function that will do this for us. So below here, we can say void. So this function will return nothing. We'll name this on item tap. And then we're going to pass in the index of the item that's tapped. And then when we have that index, we want to set the state. And we want to set this index that's tapped to this selected index. So we can do that by saying selected index is equal to index. Just like that. OK, so that's the second step. So now whenever we tap one of these, we want to call this function. So let's go down here. And right after the items still inside our bottom navigation bar uh, widget, it takes in some additional properties for this index. So it takes in one property called current index. And we'll set this to the selected index. So just like that. And then that won't do anything yet because we need to pass in the on tap property. And on the tap, we want to call the on item tap uh, function. But we don't want to pass in that. We just we don't want any parentheses because we don't want to call it uh, indefinitely. We want to call it when they tap. So to do that, we just pass in the name like that. And then that right there is all we need to add for this to work. But if we go test it out, as you see, we are now able to tap. But the uh, this icon here, this text home, is not changing. And that's because our home, where is it? Our, uh, our body text right here is set to home. So what we need to do instead is get rid of this. And we will say the body is, first let's wrap it in a center widget, just like that. So now it will be centered in the middle. But we will say the child, instead of just home text, we'll say it's equal to widget options dot element at. We can pass in the selected index, just like that. So now, whichever index is selected, the element displayed here is whichever index is here. So for example, home is selected, which is index 0. This is element zero in our widget option, so this will be displayed. And then if we hit messages, now we see messages it is displayed. Same for profile. So this is the basics, the bare minimum you can do for the bottom navigation bar. Well, what if you don't want to display just text? What if you want to display a bunch more? Well, you can't really, I mean, I guess you could wrap a container with columns and rows and all your widgets in here. That would be really big and it would get way too much to handle. So we're going to do something similar to what we did here by saying home is equal to this nav class. So what we can do is instead of passing a text widget for this widget options, we can pass in a class. So I'm going to pass in home. And we haven't created this yet, so let's do that now. We'll go up here, and we will create a new file. And we can name this home screen dot dart. Now here is where we can add a home screen. So first we're going to import our material dot dart package. So that's from flutter slash material dot dart. 
And then here we can just say class home. Whoops. And that will extend stateless widget because we're going to want to keep this as minimal as possible as well. We'll override that just like this. Our build widget. Pass in the context. And we will return center. And here you can put whatever you want. So for example, we could put the text home just like this. Be sure to say child just like that. And then back here, we need to import this home screen. So we're going to do that the same way that we did this. So I'm just going to copy that, paste that here. And then instead of nav.dart, this is home screen dot dart, just like that. And now there's no error and it is the exact same because we are still setting this to text home. So let's change this up a little bit so we can see that this is indeed coming from this screen. Instead of the child being a text widget, Let's say the child is a column widget and we'll pass in children as widgets, just like so. And then in here, I'm going to say icon, icons dot AC unit. And then we'll do another icon. We'll say icons dot, and then we'll go one down, just like that. Format that up. And now when this refreshes, We should see, just like that, our two icons here. So this is successfully pointing to this home class, which is rendering this on the screen. And we can center those as well because we're using a column. We can use the main axis alignment property and set that to main axis alignment dot center, which will center them on the screen. So that's how you can go about building your bottom navigation bar. Just to recap what we did, we have our basic main.dart file. We are pointing home to this nav. And this nav class is a stateful widget, which has our bottom navigation bar in it. So we have our widgets here, which is what the user sees. We then have our widget options list. And then each time we tap a widget, we are changing the selected index to the index in this list, and this is what we are displaying to the user. And we are, we are using properties on the bottom navigation bar to specify that. And then we took it one step further. Instead of displaying text, we displayed a home class, which is this stateless widget right here. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something from it. If you did, be sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a like and stay tuned for more videos like this.